work and the values for which he stood for. On this occasion, I congratulate the members of the foundation. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. May I request Dr. Srimati Tamilisai Saundar Rajan, Honorable Governor of Telangana and Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry to address the gathering. Namaskar. Special good evening to each and everyone here. Sri Jagdeep Dangarji, Honorable Vice President of India. Sri Madhi Sudesh Dangarji. Sri Alok Arada, Honorable Chief Justice of High Court Telangana. Sri V. Rajagopal Reddy, former Additional Solicitor General of India. Sri Konda Vishweshwar Reddy, former MP and Founder, Institute of Justice of Madhava Reddy Foundation, Shri PBS Reddy, Chief Postmaster General of Telangana, and all the dignitaries who have assembled here, Member of Parliaments, the legal luminaries, and one and all. It is with great pleasure and honor and reverence that I stand before you today on this momentous occasion. A day we come together to release a special Indian postal cover commemorating the 100th birth anniversary of the late Honorable Justice Konda Madhavaredi, a towering figure in the Indian legal landscape. Justice Reddy's life and contributions have left an indeligible mark on our nation. Born on October 21st, 1923, Justice Konda Madhavaredi embarked on a journey in the field of law that was defined by unwavering dedication and commitment. His career, spanning over five decades, saw him rise from the pinnacle to, of judiciary, serving as the Chief Justice of High Court of Andhra Pradesh and Bombay High Court. He went on to serve as Founder Chairman of Central Administrative Tribunal as well as Senior Advocate at the Honorable Supreme Court. He also served as Governor of Maharashtra. Beyond his legal acumen. Justice Reddy was respected jurist known for his unbiased judgments, contributing significantly the educational, cultural and social in our society. Today, as we unveil his commemorative postal cover, let us deliver into the life and legacy of this illustrious personality. Justice Reddy's tradition vast knowledge and unwavering commitment to justice were evident throughout his career from his early days as a pleader of Hyderabad High Court in 1944 to the pinnacle of his legal career as Chief Justice of High Court and Senior Advocate at the Supreme Court. His famous judgments referred as even today are the testament uh, to his legal brilliance and unwavering dedication to the rule of law. A brief glimpse of some of the noteworthy judgments are V. Venkata Reddy versus the Director of Industries, 1972. This case dealt with the validity of the Mulki rules which required residents of Telangana to be employed in public jobs in the region. The majority of the High Court struck down the rules, but Justice Madhav Reddy dissented, arguing that they are still valid. The Supreme Court ultimately sided with Justice Reddy. M.K. Azar and Government of Andhra Pradesh, 1984. This case involved Article 371D of the Constitution, which gives special powers to administrative tribunals in Andhra Pradesh. Justice Madhav Reddy, then Chief Justice, ruled that even though these tribunals have exclusive power over service matters, the High Court still has the power of judicial review. Under Article 226, and can grant interim relief. This principle was later upheld by the Supreme Court. Quality versus the Government of Andhra Pradesh, 1972. This case concerned restaurants that offered dancing as a part of the entertainment. The police commissioner banned dancing, but Justice Madhav Reddy squashed the order, finding it to be an unreasonable reasonable restriction to the freedom of trade article 19.1 G. His decision was upheld by the higher court. Beyond his legal career, 
Justice Konda Madhav Reddy's interest extended to agriculture and the rural development. His love for the land was so profound that he has remained as a cultivator in his native village, Dharma Shagar, until the very end. A true polymath, Justice Reddy's engagement with culture, sports and social causes and exemplary mirror by the, his power prowess as the sportsman, particularly in hockey and tennis, mirrored his commitment to the physical well-being. A chairman of the Kuchipudi Arts Academy, he played as a pivotal role in promoting the classical dance of Kuchipudi. Thiruvalluvar said, Nandaga Visarithu Yarukum Dayavu Kattamal Parabacham Illamal Sattathe Alosithu Piragu Thirpu Valangangal Adudan Nidhi In Vali Which means, investigate well, show, show favour to none, maintain impartiality, consult the law, then give judgment. That is the way of justice. Justice Reddy consistently exemplified these ethics while giving justice to everyone and I hope you all will follow this path. It was pleasure showing Sri Konda Vishweshwar Reddy, the chairman Konda Vishweshwar Reddy, the chairman of Justice Konda Madhav Reddy Foundation, Hyderabad for long and good work he has been doing. The JKMR Foundation has been rendering human service and the providing good service to the deprived section of the society, especially to the youth, women, students through various initiatives. May this postal cover save as the serve as the symbol of our gratitude, a token that ensures its legacy, which is not forgotten, but rather it continues to inspire generations to come. Thank you and many of the memories of Honorable Justice Konda Madhav Reddy continue to illuminate our path towards a more justice and enlightened future. Jai Hind, Jai Telangana. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your thoughts. May I request Shri previous Redigaru, Chief Postmaster General, Telangana Circle, to present the postal special cover to the Honorable Vice President of India, commemorating the 100th birth anniversary of late Justice Konda Madhavred. It is my pleasure to request Sri Jagdeep Dhankarji, Honorable Vice President of India, to address the gathering. Very good evening to all of you. Honorable Governor of Telangana, Dr. Tamilisai Sondra Rajan, Honorable Chief Justice Telangana, Sri Alok Arade, Sri K. Vishweshar Reddy, former member of parliament and founder trustee, JKMR Foundation, Sri V. Rajgopal Reddy, former additional solicitor general of India, he has mentored many like me while he was chairman of our Council of India Trust. 
I was picked up by him along with 20 other lawyers from the country to receive a special training at Administrative Staff College, Hyderabad. I am ever beholden to his guidance, to his mentorship and his contribution to the legal fraternity is East in history. Sri P.V.S. Reddy, Chief Postmaster General of Telangana Circle, Sri K.R. Suresh Reddy, Member Parliament Rajya Sabha, Sri S. Niranjan Reddy, Member Parliament Rajya Sabha, I can never forget to mention members of Rajya Sabha. That's very critical. I preside that house. What was said by the former member of parliament, I can have many caveats. Madam Sangeeta Rediji, Joint MD Apollo Hospital, and I remember the very first day when I had the good fortune to interact with her at a FIKI program and she remembered her father-in-law so gloriously that I was quite keen to come to this function. <laughs> Distinguished audience, I deem it a matter of pride, privilege and pleasure for having been called upon to release a special Indian postal cover commemorating the 100th anniversary of the late Justice Konda Madhav Reddy former Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh and Bombay High Courts and former Governor of Maharashtra. I congratulate the Department of Posts, Ministry of Communications for their opportune initiative and as always for ensuring the impeccable aesthetics in the design which we all just noticed. It is commendable that the Department of Post has been salient record keeper of India's inspirational and motivational legends and the present one is an instance. Today's initiative is a befitting recognition and tribute to legendary late Justice Konda Madhav Reddy. I did not have the good fortune of having ever met him or even seen the legendary figure late Justice Konda Madhav Reddy but I can claim to know of him and know of him well. Justice Reddy was born on 21st October 1923, that's the real date of birth, was a visionary who made lasting contributions to India's justice and education system. Justice Reddy among his peers is remembered as a soft-spoken, thoughtful, contemplative, reasonable and fair with an innate sense of justice and thorough with his facts and law. He was ever open to the other point of view, something we all need to imbibe. The central message of late Justice Konda Madhav Reddy's life was inclusive society. We must live the values and create values he lived what he believed in and founded several educational, social and cultural organizations. He took inspiration from those who were before him and encouraged young lawyers to work to their full potential. He was a contributor to several important judgments that shaped Indian history and discourse. The Honorable Governor had referred to two of his very significant judgments. Friends, at a very personal level, I resonate with Justice Reddy not only because of his association with the judiciary but also as someone who did not forget his roots. A son of the soil, Justice Reddy remained a cultivator in his native village, Dharmasagar, until the end. Friends, this is a huge reflection on his personality. He exemplified simplicity, sublimity, modesty, and that is why 
we all are here. He is for us all, inspirational and motivational figure. As a Kisan Putra myself, I am inspired by Jassi Reddy's efforts to alleviate rural struggles through his judgments. He gave a voice to those who were believed to be voiceless. He helped those who are the providers for Bharat, that is, our Kisans, our farmers. As Bharat approaches friends, its centenary year, Bharat 2047, we must remember the ideals advocated and emphasized by Justice Reddy, service, justice, and compassion, as these must form the bedrock of an inclusive society and a vibrant democracy. As a matter of fact, these are a sense of our civilizational ethos. We must ever continue to believe in them and practice them. Friends, we are living in Amrit Kal. The world is witnessing India's progress across domains, the outcomes of which are impacting the lives of one-sixth of humanity, that is our Bharat. This is our Gaurav Kal. We are laying the firm foundations for a developed Bharat to reclaim the glory that had made ours the leading nation for many centuries. It is soothing to note that all three organs of the state, the judiciary, the executive and the legislature are performing commendably and catalyzing the unprecedented rise of Bharat. When I come to judiciary, the legal landscape of Bharat has been undergoing great affirmative change in recent months, which will have tremendous positive impact on its progress and on the welfare of one-sixth of humanity. During the past decade, Significant strides have been made in the judicial system, emphasizing digitalization through the e-courts project and the national judicial data grid. There are not only, these have not only enhanced transparency and accessibility, but have resulted in reduction of pendency of cases. Major legal reforms initiated by judiciary included establishment of commercial courts, Amendment to arbitration enactments aiming for faster dispute resolution. Initiatives like National Legal Services Authority in ALSA has been taken to strengthen legal aid mechanisms for the underprivileged, the vulnerable sections of the society, ensuring impactful, effective justice to them. What is further noteworthy is that under our current Chief Justice, Dr. Chandrachud, the Supreme Court has taken several critical steps, including to bring justice to people in their own language, a revolutionary step that connects the people emotively to the highest court of the land. Supreme Court has gone paperless, and even the courts, including advocates, are performing paperless. 99% of district courts are connected to the high courts and the high courts are moving towards paperless ecosystem that is absolutely necessary in the times we live, the challenges we face. When we come to legislature, just a few days ago, friends, three new bills were introduced. They got the assent of the Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murgu, just two, three days back. The new laws, the Bharatiya Nyaya Sahita, the Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sahita, and the Bharatiya Sakshi Act have unshackled Indian criminal justice system from colonial legacy while keeping the focus on justice rather than punishment. Friends, it is monumental, revolutionary change from Dand Vidhan to Nyaya Vidhan. The passing of the Nari Shakti Vandana Adhiniyam by Parliament was another just landmark in our legal landscape. This law marks a long overdue measure that will give our women their rightful space in our democracy and amplify the voice of one half of our society when they get representation vertically and horizontally to the extent of one third in Lok Sabha and state legislatures. We can add many more achievements to judiciary and legislature, 
I am only illustrating. Coming back to the executive, the most important transformative steps have been taken by government through public participation, highlighting the strength of our democracy and strengthening it spinally. From undertaking a nationwide Swach Bharat, and I am extremely proud, satisfied, noteworthy, that the Foundation is engaged into this activity in a very meaningful, productive and impactful manner. Swach Bharat campaign bringing nearly a billion people online through a path-breaking digital public infrastructure push, and that, friends, has been appreciated globally, including by the World Bank. Our digital penetration has been so very impactful that our digital transactions in 2022 were four times the combined transactions of USA, UK, France and Germany. Look at the acceptability that per data internet consumption of Bharat was more than that of USA and China taken together. Our UPI has been adopted even by countries like Singapore. Friends, we are witnessing a path-breaking public infrastructure push. The face of Bharat we are witnessing today is markedly different from what we have seen a decade ago. I don't want to go much into it, but just a decade ago, friends, when it comes to economy, we were part of Fragile 5. Now we are one of the five biggest economies at global level on way to becoming third largest global economy by end of 2030. In the process, we have already overtaken Canada, Great Britain and France and we will soon overtake the economy that of Japan and Germany. In August 2023, what a proud moment for all of us. August 2023, we have declared as a space day. India landed its Chandrayaan-3 unmanned probe near the south pole of moon, becoming the first and the only country in the world to achieve this feat. We east on moon, Tiranga and Shiv Shakti point. Friends, G20, just a few days back, we handed over the presidency to a country in South America. We hosted the world's leading economies at G20 Leaders Summit in New Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi championed the African Union's admission as a permanent G20 member and amplified the voice of Global South on the international platform as never before. Both these historic developments indicate global rise of Bharat. European Union was already part of G20. European Union countries were those that had hegemony over African Union. Global South, Bharat became a country that included African Union in G20 and became very forceful voice of Global South. As the G20 chair, India sought to offer the world an alternative to status quo, a shift from GDP-centric to human-centric program. This is not a small achievement. Bharat gave to the world an idea. We have to be people-centric. We have to analyze parameters that go to make a man satisfied, happy. He or she can exploit his or her potential. And the world has accepted it. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reminded the world of what unites us rather than what divides us. Inclusive, ambitious, action-oriented and decisive. These are the factors that mark actions of our Prime Minister and this has been highly rewarding for the nation that we are now counted as the fastest growing large economy in the world. We are hot favorite destination of investment and opportunity as per World Bank. These four words of the Prime Minister defined our G20 presidentship. 
फ्रेंड्स टेक्नोलॉजी हैज मेड इन रोड्स इन आवर लाइफ्स इन आवर वर्क स्पेस इन आवर होम स्पेस वी हैव टू लिव विद इट द एडवेंट ऑफ डिस्ट्रप्टिव टेक्नोलॉजीज इज पोजिंग न्यू चैलेंजेस एज वेल एज अपॉर्चुनिटीज यू विल बी हैप्पी टू नो that there was a time when we used to wait for other nations to develop technology then we used to look up to them to give us the technology then they will part with technology in a limited sense so we were far behind presently the scenario is that india has already positioned itself as one of the few countries and the number is not in double digit india is positioned as one of the few countries in the world that is charting its own course in terms of researching and harnessing such technologies friends we have already directed our efforts on cutting edge technologies such as artificial intelligence internet of things quantum computing and on quantum computing we already have a quantum mission where there is already an allocation of 6000 crores it has enormous potential and we are in the front league of nations doing this machine learning that is so critical for a country like ours that is a population of 14 billion we are working on it internet of things 6g when it comes to 6g our progress is in two parts the first part will be over from 2025 to 2030 we will be engaging in commercial part of 6g for most of us who are not keenly involved in the final aspects of 6g it is just having a mobile phone with greater greater frequency and being fast friends it is must be on that green energy green energy mission of bharat already 19000 crores have been allocated this has a potential to generate 6 lakh jobs with an investment of 8 lakh crores bharat has taken lead in the world in this and this will be a game changer friends what we have seen today in bharat at least was beyond contemplation imagination and dream of my generation as i happen to be a member of parliament in 1989 and was a minister in 1991 i know the ground reality then how fragile we were a country known as sone ki chidiya had to send its gold in gold in physical form to two swiss banks to sustain our fiscal viability reputation now our foreign exchange is more than 600 billion then it was around 1 billion that's a great accomplishment i know agitation is saying its final leadership of prime minister narendra modi has brought about this big change that in the world our passport carries a different meaning and our voice is heard globally at a level that we state our point we don't follow anybody's point of view today the country has an enabling ecosystem that allows each member of the society to aspire for distinction to unleash talent and follow and realize their dreams i don't want to take more on it but look at the startups and our incomes we have the largest number when we compare at a global horizon that is the ecosystem we use to live today by 2047 as we celebrate the centenary of our independence i no doubt that we will once again have institutions of the like of nalanda vikramshila takshila that will be crucibles of invaluable thought and learning not just for india but for the world at large it is time for our corporates and our universities to grab the opportunity cling to research and development with respect to disruptive technologies so that we really become a world leader because technology defines how secure we are it is critical even for our national security so power of bharat in the form of its wealth and ayurvedic wisdom its spirituality and its gift of yoga already widely recognized across the globe will become an ever guiding force for mankind for decades to come it is indeed a momentous occasion that i get to honor another kisan a kisan who dedicated his life to service with compassion with dedication and till the end as a kisan putra 
I carry a great message for myself. I reaffirm my faith in development of the nation holistically. Late Justice Kundam Reddy is an icon. An authentic icon. I use the word authentic because in our country iconic status has been granted on occasions of parameters that are baffling. Friends, nothing can be more dangerous to society, particularly society of our size, that an informed mind, a knowledgeable person, trades on ignorance of others to monetize political or economic equity. Dr. Konda Madhav Reddy was different. He gave a message and we must ever carry his message. I am so glad the foundation is doing it in a significant manner. He was a man who truly, truly dedicated his life to the service of Bharat and every moment of it. A man who appealed the motto of the Supreme Court, Yeto Dharam Istato Chai. He appealed it till the end, every moment of his life, which means where there is righteousness and moral duty, there is victory. I am sure that Justice Konda Madhav Reddy's life and work will continue to guide and inspire the young minds of today in creating a better and stronger nation, Bharat, as we come together to mold the nation of our dreams at 2047. I am greatly to the Foundation for affording me such an opportunity to be before such a distinct audience to reflect on a man whose vision, mission, and life will ever inspire and motivate. Friends, I leave this place fully energized, motivated, inspired to practice what Mother Rediji did not preach. He practiced all his life brilliantly. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening address. As a mark of respect and deep felt gratitude on behalf of J JKMR Foundation, we would like to felicitate the dignitaries on dais. May I request Sri Vitrisha Redigaru to felicitate Sri Jagdeep Dankarji, Honorable Vice President of India, with shawl and memento. Dr. Meera to felicitate Dr. Srimati Sudesh Dhankarji, spouse of the Honorable Vice President of India. May I request Dr. Gautami to honor Dr. Srimati Tamilisai Saudna Rajangaru. Honorable Governor of Telangana and Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. May I request Mr. Ramakant Reddy to present a token of appreciation to Sri Aloka Radhiji, Honorable Chief Justice of Telangana. May I request Mr. Vidyanath Reddy to felicitate Shri PVS Reddy, Chief Postmaster General, Telangana Circle. May I request Chaitanya Reddy to felicitate Shri V. Rajgopal Reddy, former Additional Solicitor General of India. May I request Vidyanath Reddy to felicitate 
Shri PVS Reddy, Chief Postmaster General, Telangana Circle. May I request everyone to stand for the national anthem. Janagana mana ajinayaka jayane Bhagata bhagya vidhata Punjab singh gujarat maratha Dravira utkada vanga Vindya hima chala yamuna ganga Uchala jala dhikaranga Tavashubha name jage तवशुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Special good evening to each and everyone here. Shri Jagdeep Dangarji, Honorable Vice President of India. Shri Madhi Sudesh Dangarji. Shri Alok Arada, Honorable Chief Justice of High Court Telangana. Shri V. Rajagopal Reddy, former Additional Solicitor General of India. Shri Konda Vishweshwar Reddy, former MP and Founder Institute of Justice of Madhava Reddy Foundation. Shri PBS Reddy, Chief Postmaster General of Telangana and all the dignitaries who have assembled here, Member of Parliaments, the legal luminaries and one and all. It is with great pleasure and honour and reverence that I stand before you today on this momentous occasion. A day we come together to release a special Indian postal cover commemorating the 100th birth anniversary of the late Honourable Justice Konda Madhavaredi, a towering figure in the Indian legal landscape, Justice Reddy's life and contributions have left an indeligible mark in, on our nation. Born on October 21st, 1923, Justice Konda Madhavaredi embarked on a journey in the field of law that was defined by unwavering dedication and commitment. His career Spanning over five decades saw him rise from the pinnacle to, of judiciary, serving as the Chief Justice of High Court of Andhra Pradesh and Bombay High Court. He went on to serve as Founder Chairman of Central Administrative Tribunal as well as Senior Advocate at the Honorable Supreme Court. He also served as Governor of Maharashtra. Beyond his legal acumen, Justice Reddy was respected jurist known for his unbiased judgments, contributing significantly the educational, cultural and social in our society. Today, as we unveil his commemorative postal cover, let us deliver into the life and legacy of this illustrious personality. Justice Reddy's tradition, vast knowledge and unwavering commitment to justice were evident throughout his career from his early days as a pleader of Hyderabad High Court in 1944 to the pinnacle of his legal career as Chief Justice of High Court and Senior Advocate at the Supreme Court. His famous judgments, referred as even today, are the testament to his legal brilliance and unwavering dedication to the rule of law. A brief glimpse of some of the noteworthy judgments are V. Venkata Reddy vs. the Director of Industries, 1972. This case dealt with the validity of the Mulki rules which required residents of Telangana to be employed in public jobs in the region. The majority of the High Court struck down the rules, but Justice Madhav Reddy dissented, arguing that they are still valid. The Supreme Court ultimately sided with Justice Reddy. M.K. Azad and Government of Andhra Pradesh, 1984. 
This case involved Article 371D of the Constitution, which gives special powers to administrative tribunals in Andhra Pradesh. Justice Madhav Reddy, then Chief Justice, ruled that even though these tribunals have exclusive power over service matters, the High Court still has the power of judicial review. Under Article 226, and can grant interim relief, this principle was later upheld by the Supreme Court. Quality versus the Government of Andhra Pradesh, 1972. This case concerned restaurants that offered dancing as a part of the entertainment. The police commissioner banned dancing, but Justice Madhav Reddy squashed the order, finding it to be an unreasonable reasonable restriction to the freedom of trade article 191G. His decision was upheld by the higher court. Beyond his legal career, Justice Kondar Madhav Reddy's interests extended to agriculture and the rural development. His love for the land was so profound that he remained as a cultivator in his native village, Dharma Shagar, until the very end. A true polymath, Justice Reddy's engagement with culture, sports and social causes and exemplary mirror by the, his power, prowess as the sportsman, particularly in hockey and tennis, mirrored his commitment to the physical well-being. A chairman of the Kuchipudi Arts Academy, he played as a pivotal role in promoting the classical dance of Kuchipudi. Thiruvalluvar said, Nandraga Visarith, Yarukkum Daivu Kattamal, Parabacham Illamal, Sattathe Alosith, which means investigate well, show, show favor to none, maintain impartiality, consult the law, then give judgment. That is the way of justice. Justice Reddy consistently exemplified these ethics while giving justice to everyone and I hope you all will follow this path. It was pleasure showing Sri Kondar Vishweshwara Reddy, the chairman, Konda Vishweshwar Reddy, the chairman of Justice Konda Madhav Reddy Foundation, Hyderabad for long and good work he has been doing. The JKMR Foundation has been rendering human service and the providing good service to the deprived section of the society, especially to the youth, women, students through various initiatives. May this postal cover save us the sip serve as the symbol of our gratitude, a token that ensures its legacy, which is not forgotten, but rather it continues to inspire generations to come. Thank you and many of the memories of Honorable Justice Konda Madhav Reddy continue to illuminate our path towards a more justice and enlightened future. Jai Hind, Jai Telangana. <coughs> Special good evening to each and everyone here. Shri Jagdeep Dangarji, Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Madhi Sudesh Chai Dangarji, Shri Alok, Arada, Honorable Chief Justice of High Court Telangana, Shri V. Rajagopal Reddy, former Additional Solicitor General of India, Shri Konda Vishweshar Reddy, former MP and Founder, Institute of Justice of Madhava Reddy Foundation, Shri PBS Reddy, Chief Postmaster General of Telangana, and all the dignitaries who have assembled here, member of parliaments, the legal luminaries, and one and all. It is with great pleasure and honor and reverence that I stand before you today on this momentous occasion. A day we come together to release a special Indian postal cover commemorating the 100th birth anniversary of the late Honorable Justice Konda Madhavaredi, a towering figure in the Indian legal landscape, Justice Reddy's life and contributions have left an indeligible mark on our nation. Born on October 21st, 1923, Justice Konda Mahadeva Reddy embarked on a journey in the field of law that was defined by unwavering dedication and commitment. His career, spanning over five decades, saw him rise from the pinnacle to, of judiciary serving as the Chief Justice of High Court of Andhra Pradesh and Bombay High Court. He went on to serve as Founder Chairman of Central Administrative Tribunal as well as Senior Advocate at the Honorable Supreme Court. 
he also served as governor of Maharashtra. Beyond his legal acumen, Justice Reddy was respected jurist known for his unbiased judgments, contributing significantly the educational, cultural and social in our society. Today, as we unveil his commemorative postal cover, let us deliver into the life and legacy of this illustrious personality. Justice Reddy's tradition, vast knowledge and unwavering commitment to justice were evident throughout his career from his early days as a pleader of Hyderabad High Court in 1944 to the pinnacle of his legal career as Chief Justice of High Court and Senior Advocate at the Supreme Court. His famous judgments, referred as even today, are the testament uh, to his legal brilliance and unwavering dedication to the rule of law. A brief glimpse of some of the noteworthy judgments are V. Venkata Reddy versus the Director of Industries, 1972. This case dealt with the validity of the Mulki rules which required residents of Telangana to be employed in public jobs in the region. The majority of the High Court struck down the rules, but Justice Madhav Reddy dissented, arguing that they are still valid. The Supreme Court ultimately sided with Justice Reddy. M.K. Azar and Government of Andhra Pradesh, 1984. This case involved Article 371D of the Constitution, which gives special powers to administrative tribunals in Andhra Pradesh. Justice Madhav Reddy, then Chief Justice, ruled that even though these tribunals have exclusive power over service matters, the High Court still has the power of judicial review. Under Article 226 and can grant interim relief. This principle was later upheld by the Supreme Court. Quality versus the Government of Andhra Pradesh 1972. This case concerned restaurants that offered dancing as a part of the entertainment. The police commissioner banned dancing, but Justice Madhav Reddy squashed the order, finding it to be an unreasonable reasonable restriction to the freedom of trade article 19 1G. His decision was upheld by the higher court. Beyond his legal career, Justice Kondar Madhav Reddy's interests extended to agriculture and the rural development. His love for the land was so profound that he remained as a cultivator in his native village, Dharma Shagar, until the very end. A true polymath, Justice Reddy's engagement with culture, sports and social causes and Exemplary mirror by the, his power, prowess as the sportsman, particularly in hockey and tennis, mirrored his commitment to the physical well-being. A chairman of the Kuchipudi Arts Academy, he played as a pivotal 